Hi, I'm Jomar. Enjoy my videos and hope you're going to learn more about mathematics. In this video, we are going to talk about a framework for mathematics. This is based on my perspective about a paradigm on how we're going to develop mathematics. In this video, there are questions like, where does mathematics fit in our society? How can we advance and proactively promote a more socially relevant and inclusive mathematics? This is the framework based on my perspective. To start, in mathematics, there is the theoretical mathematics or commonly known as pure mathematics. And there are also the different application areas. Between these two, applied mathematics bridge theoretical mathematics and the different application areas. The foundation for this is mathematics education. And there is quantitative literacy for everyone. On top of this, there is mathematics and science communication. And there is also the mathematics and science diplomacy. And these areas will result in knowledge and skills, products and services. There are different examples of application areas, such as in sciences, physics, biology, and chemistry, in engineering, social sciences, and also the arts. And there are many more. There is no clear demarcation between theoretical mathematics and applied mathematics, but there can be differences on our practices. For example, there are differences in the goals. In theoretical mathematics, the goal is to improve the mathematical language itself. And in applied mathematics, the goal is to apply different techniques and methods in mathematics. There can be also differences in the philosophy that we are going to use. In theoretical mathematics, we usually use deductive logic. And in applied mathematics, there is deductive logic plus falsification. If we're going to use mathematics in the different sciences, falsification demarcates between science and the pseudoscience. And if we're going to use mathematics in the arts, there is deductive logic plus aesthetics because there are different standards of beauty. As I have told you, there is no clear demarcation between theoretical mathematics and applied mathematics. Actually, applied mathematics is a spectrum. At times, we work on applied mathematics near the application areas, such as mathematical modeling. I'm going to create a separate video on mathematical modeling. There are also applied mathematics near the theoretical mathematics, such as analysis and numerics. And we also include here computing, such as creation of algorithms and methods. The wide array of application areas determine the breadth of applied mathematics and how rooted on theories our methods are determines the depth of applied mathematics. There are many branches of theoretical mathematics such as the foundational ones like set theory, algebra which is the study of structures, geometry which is the study of spaces, and analysis which includes calculus as the study of changes. But we're not going to the details of this. You can visit this YouTube link to see the different branches of mathematics. This is a very cool video. Now, going back to the framework, we have mathematics education. Teaching good mathematics is the foundation for having excellent mathematical practices, research, mentoring, and public service, and of course, good numeracy. If you don't have good mathematics education, such as in elementary and high school, all of this will crash. Then, quantitative literacy and mathematical thinking. Quantitative literacy is mathematics for everyday life. This is a must for all citizens. I'm going to create a separate video on quantitative literacy. Mathematics communication. We should promote and share our created new knowledge from our research and existing knowledge to various audiences, such as to the general public. This is in addition to the mathematics taught in schools. Then lastly, mathematics and science diplomacy. We can use our mathematical results to aid in policy making, decision making, and evaluation of systems. This is very important to address local and global issues. Now, this framework is an integrated framework. This means that all areas are interconnected. 
If you want a successful and impactful mathematical community, this cannot be done by a single person. We need collaboration. Collaboration among mathematicians and collaboration among different experts from different fields. And we need capacity building. We need to train more people in these different areas. Not just in theoretical mathematics, not just in applied mathematics, but also in mathematics education, in mathematics communication, and in mathematics diplomacy. We also need mentoring so that this can be sustainable for many generations. We need a strong leadership and an effective management. We need institutional and government support. And lastly, we need a development agenda, a direction aligned with national and international goals. I hope you like my video. This is all for now. Bye!